and gentlemen, and today I'm going to bring you Team Deathmatch 15, where I'll go 18 kills to 5 deaths. In this match I do have quite a slow sort of start, as usual, and the ending is not as good as I thought it could be, but still 18, to five, 18 kills and 5 deaths is still a good score, I would say. In this match I will be using the UMP45, as you can see I have got a golden gun. Here I am on like level 60 or something around them levels I have actually prestige at twice at the moment and the prestige videos will be coming up and I will be telling you the date you have actually prestiged as you can see these these videos are backdated and as you can see here I'm actually not using the, the UMP45 I'm using the ACR sorry ACR 6.8 red dot I didn't really like the ACR on this prestige or you can call it before prestige one really because it was actually quite annoying. I didn't do too well too well with it. And prestige one, it was actually one of my favourite guns. And as you can see here, I am gonna be trying to look for an enemy, but unfortunately someone does come behind me and give me a stab. There you go. But as you can see, I will have to try and get him for revenge. But I do I don't take that option. Which is a bit stupid really, but I think someone's probably already killed him. But at the end of the day, I do end up doing better than I thought I would in this game. Because I didn't have no silence, so I was just using red dots. So every time I was killing someone, I would actually be appearing on the map. And here was actually quite a good place to battle out. As you can see there, I was actually lying down. And I don't really stay prone that much. As you can see, I did get like prone shot number 2, which is like I think 15 enemies that were prone. So as you can see, 15 times killing someone with pro in 60 levels is quite like wow. Because I don't, I don't really like staying pro. I love running about everywhere. Hardly ever crouch really as well. But I do actually get the cr the crouch shots before like level 60 because you do crouch more than you pr pro. Well, that's would be my personal opinion really. As you can see here, we do kind of. Not really spawn trap them, but we do slightly spawn trap them. As you can see, they were behind us quite a lot of the time. I don't know why I just did that. I was just trying to hide from the enemy before they would even come here, but I actually should have went to them. But as you do, as you can see here, I have got a UAV. I've got a nice streak going. And I think I do hear someone here, but then I realise it's my teammate. And in this match, I am going to be playing with my um, clan member again, but only one of my clan members. And it's actually quite a slow start, as you say. You see, three minutes here, I've only got like maybe five kills. And I do actually check the leaderboard there. I think it was about seven kills now. As you can see, I do get the Penta Missile, and I will bring in my attack helicopter as well. This match does go quite fast, just around six minutes. Which is actually quite fast for a team deathmatch, really. As you can see here, I did kind of panic because I did want the I did want the attack helicopter, and there you go. I do bring it in, gets me a nice little bit of kills, and I think it's the best place to do penta missile if you're on that side because good place to hide. I should have really gone for that guy because my attack helicopter was basically killing him, so I could have got an extra kill. I should have had 19 kills really, but at the end of the day. I still get a nice kill to death. As you see, my team is going to be trying to pull away here. It is quite a big difference, just over a thousand. And the match actually goes quite fast for the last couple of minutes. I think some of my other teammates do dominate as well. And I think my clan member does quite well in this game as well. Um, he doesn't do, do that good really. He gets 7 to 6, but still. There was actually another a bit of quite a few other people that I didn't know and they did quite well. They got both another people got 80 kills and such something along them lines really. And as you can see here, I did try to take him out of the back because they got caught on the back. Which was actually a nice spot to take them out. Because when they get trapped there, there's hardly no way out. Either you go straight or left or right and you can cover from both sides really. I do get a nice little beautiful kill there, quite a far long shot there. And the ACR is a really accurate gun, but with a red dot it does help, but 
I'm not too keen with the red dot because just having them two little lines coming up through the sights is just amazing. I've never seen a gun that is so accurate really. It has got it on the M1 6A4, I think it's, that's what it's called. The three arm burst gun. That's actually got really good accuracy. I used to play that with that on zombies. But if you upgrade that on zombies, you basically wouldn't like get a three round burst. And I cannot believe the guy killed me there. He was on the floor and he was facing the other way and I had that such a big advantage and he ended up killing me, which was quite really stupid really. And in this match I don't get the game winning kill. I'll let you watch the game winning kill. Hope you enjoy this. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.